In this lesson, we are going to look at the, the set of toolbars which is for coping and cutting and there are some parametric coping as well. Also, we are going to look at uh, this button, especially for te Tecla users, this will be like copy object to object. So I am going to draw two beams. Uh, please note the direction of pick. So I got the ortho on here and I am going to go one beam from left to right escape and another beam from right to left escape so here I have labeled the start point and end point and you can see that that's the start point for this beam and this is the start point for the other beam and this is the end point and end point so you can see that one like that so I'm going to use the cope button and put a cope on the end of this beam so I can pick either the top end or a bottom end and the cope will be introduced either at the top end or the bottom end depending upon where you pick so click that button read the prompt please identify the beam to be modified at the reference end so I want to modify this beam at this end and at the top edge so I click on that and then the cope is put there it is giving me a width of that and then the depth of 20 so we will look into that width is that direction and depth is this direction I can bring up the properties of the cut by double clicking on that and you see that there's a hundred and I put a dimension here which says that is as hundred I have no idea what that 10 means uh, it doesn't make any sense this one says increment for length modification to a mum uh, well maybe for drag dragging I haven't tried that maybe you can try and 20 mm is this depth suppose I change it to 30 let's or change it to 40 maybe and you can see the depth increasing I have introduced a few more beams and I'm trying to use this uh, copy with adjustment tool this is like copy object to object in terms of Tecla users so let me try that click that button select these elements and this hit enter it is prompting me for a reference object so I select that as the reference object and then now it is prompting me for target elements so I am selecting that as one target this as the another target this is another target and this is a, as the last target and you can see the cuts are copied or rather the copes are copied to the end depending upon how I model this beam so this is a start point obviously for this one this is a start point for this beam this was a start point so I model it from right to left so Tecla users may relate to this one Hi guys, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please subscribe.